Hey everybody, welcome to Excel Video 387. I'm Nate Moore. I was working on a project last night for a group that wanted to see the first next available, the second next available, third next available, out to the fifth next available appointment for all their providers at all their locations for a variety of different appointment types. So they can manage capacity, see what demand looks like, and that kind of thing. When you're ready to take control of your capacity and your demand, let's talk. I want to play a little bit more with slicers today. Hopefully you've been through the basics and those are familiar now and you can change filters back and forth and add slicers and I suppose we should talk about how to remove slicers. You click on the slicer and hit delete. It's about that. It's that simple. What I want to do today is a couple of other slicer options. I'm going to start. Let's pick a slicer so I can get to the slicer options tab. A couple of things that might be helpful. If I pick two slicers like this, what I can do from the Align tab is align them to the left and line them up so that once I got the slicers the way I want them, I can make them look professional and in, in order, lined up, whatever I want. Another thing I can do besides that is I could pick all three of my slicers. Let's say they're exactly the way I want them, and I want to move those slicers around for whatever reason. I want to drag them to a different part of my spreadsheet. I can group them here, and if I group them, and even when I click outside, if I drag one, I drag all. I'm going to undo that. But from the slicer tools options menu, there are a couple of things to send them forward and back and align and group. You might find this selection pane helpful. If you click on selection pane, it will show you all the objects that are out there and what you can do. Let's say for whatever reason you don't want them to be able to filter provider from a slicer. What you can do is just hide by clicking here and now the provider slicer goes away. Obviously, folks that are familiar with the spreadsheet and how to use tables could certainly come over to the table and filter it, but you can decide whether or not things appear or disappear based on the selection tab. And when you're done with that, you can X that out as well. Last thing I want to show you from the slicer options menu is to come over to slicer settings. So what I'm looking at now is I have the primary insurance slicer. I can change the name of it. I could even take the header away. I've done it. I'll show you. I get I, maybe it's obvious for this one. Hey, these are my insurance companies. That that uh, header takes up space. I'm going to undo that. But for me, I leave them on. The thing I wanted to show you is down here below. You can change the way they sort. You can use custom lists if there is a custom list out there. Say, hey, I want to sort this, then that, then this. The way it works. You can do ascending or descending. Remember when we were talking last time? Items with no data. Let me. Sh uh, we can visually indicate them or show them at the bottom of the list. And though that's the default. Let me show you what I mean. If I come over here and pick Dr. Evans, see how there is no hospital referral source for Dr. Evans? You can visually show it like we did there. You could hide it off the list if you wanted to as well. For me, I don't want to hide it because I want to know it's there. What I want to know is, hey, Dr. Evans doesn't have any of a hospital. That's the kind of thing I want to do. But if you want to change it, slice your settings, and you can hide items with no data. You can certainly show them last, and that's my preference and you can visually indicate it. That's what I wanted to show you about slicers. They're a very powerful tool. I've used a bunch of pivot tables. Now they're available with tables in Excel 2013. Great way for rookies, folks that are new to Excel, to manipulate data without having to get too complex and too fancy in the menus. That's what I want to show you this time. Stay tuned. The next Excel video will keep going on tables. Thanks for watching.